Hi, if you're doing a graduate research program in master's or PhD um, in life science, or you are planning to do one and you were wondering that how it will translate to a scientific area, this is a long shot, then this is your video. I'm Golam Bodin. I'm a life scientist and I have done my master's PhD and all this research uh, career uh, throughout the years in number of different institutes, number of different countries. So this is the video I'm making from my experience. So let's jump into this topic. So um, I totally understand you are in a master's program or you're thinking to get, uh, get into a master's program or a PhD program, which has a research component, a supervisor is there and um, you are working, you will be working or you are working on a particular research topic where you are exploring a protein or a gene or a particular mechanism of a disease uh, or a cell line um, that you are troubleshooting a, a particular technique. And after doing a couple of months, a couple of weeks, or even planning to do that kind of research, and now uh, you are thinking that how it will translate to a scientific career, how you get a, a job out of it in a hospital or a pharmaceutical company or drug development um, research uh, companies or in academia. So what happens is really uh, in the graduate research program, you are not really uh, getting the career perspective. You are uh, getting uh, skill, knowledge, and also the experience that you are getting from that particular research. So this is not about translating directly that research to a career, rather than the time you spend, the knowledge you are gathering, the skill sets you are getting, um, uh, the techniques that you are learning, uh, the way you are presenting your scientific data, uh, and then the way you are collaborating with a number of different labs or your lab members, uh, that's what you are bringing to your resume. And that's what you are bringing uh, to your career. So it's not about a particular mechanism or pathway that you are exploring. It is highly unlikely someone works on a particular topic or a research in their undergraduation level and then continue that to a master's, PhD, and um, to their future research and uh, get a job out of it. Uh, so this is more of a skill set, a broad skill set. This is not only the PCR technique that you are looking for. This is not only the Western blot technique you are looking for. It's a combination of research experience uh, that you are getting uh, and you are how you're presenting that of what kind of research you did or what kind of uh, research technique you have learned and what you can bring on board. And uh, most of the case, if you're looking for a biotech industry or pharmaceutical company um, jobs, they are looking for a particular skill set. It's, it's not a specifically the mechanism that you, you worked on, uh, rather than uh, they're looking for uh, the number of experience that you've got. So in your master's, you get something, you, in your PhD, you got something, uh, in your postdoc, you were trained on some other techniques and also the research concept. So combined all of this, obviously you are coming from a biological background. You are not doing something electrical engineering or computer science. So it's, it's a combination of in biological science. There are a number of different things that you can do. Obviously in my channel, I'll be, um, I I'll try to record some more videos and like what are the different areas you can do um, and you can switch between the areas and how you can develop that skill set or a portfolio basically. Um, so that's how you will be translating over time to your scientific research, graduate research program to a scientific area. I uh, hope that makes sense. If you have any question related to this one or any kind of um, early career development questions, um, yeah, feel free to ask, um, subscribe the channel to get more of these contents and I'll see you on my next video.